Okay, this time I'd like to call to order the me meeting of the Clarksburg Select Board on uh, one, what is it? Monday. <laughs> Monday. The 22nd. <laughs> Monday, uh, May 22nd, 2023. Um, I'll stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we're here to review the budget and the town warrant. Okay, so if you want to start with the warrant. Okay. Okay, if we could go over it, and if there's any typos or anything else um, that you think is uh, needing cleaning up, let me know, and then we'll finalize everything Wednesday morning. Um, so we've got the greetings. Article one is to receive the annual printed report of the town's officers, which will be available um, at town meeting. Pretty typical. Mm -hmm. um, article two, so, <clears throat> There are times um, relative to the treasurer needing to borrow money um, from time to time in anticipation of revenue. So that's authorizing the treasurer to do so. Article 3, <clears throat> to see if we would authorize the town treasurer to enter into compensating balance agreements. So what that is reflective of is if they were to put the town's money into a particular bank, that they would be able to get interest and or uh, other items, free checking or you know things of that nature. Um, and so that's kind of a compensating uh, balance agreement. So that's what that the meaning is there. Our final copy before this, can we just move this? This heading down to the next page, so at least it, like Article Three stays kind of with Article. Sure. Yep. You know, just before we print all the copies for people. Um, article Four. Okay. Um, so the town um, does retain um, fines and forfeitures regarding activities of the police department, and those monies are collected by the treasurer and they're put into a special revolving fund and up to five thousand dollars can be used for training equipment and fuel um, anything above that would go to the general fund okay article five um, to set the compensation for the elected officials um, so we have basically no change at all um, from the previous year. <clears throat> okay, so we have the, um, the, the school budget. Um, <clears throat> and that's $2,838,417, which represents a 2% increase in their budget um, so we're grateful for their flexibility in negotiating this year's budget um, following that is article 7 um, which is reflective of what our uh, tuition payments are for McCann Technical uh, um, High School um, which has a substantial increase, um, but again, it's it's based on tuition and those numbers. <clears throat> okay, Article 8 is to authorize the select board to enter into contracts with uh, a DOT, Mass Highway. Um, we do have a state highway goes through the town, but also we do see receive funding through Chapter 90, uh, winter recovery, um, pothole money, and things of that nature. So this is authorizing our ability to do that. So then we have um, the 
the following sums of money for salaries, expenses, and charges, including loan debts for the fiscal year. And so then that would be this whole schmeal. Um, I will print it in color because the negatives I would like to show in red. And so this is, you know, obviously not the finished product as far as that goes. Um, but in my other copies, it does reflect that. So um, I didn't push color on the print on the copier. So that's my bad. Um, but you can basically see <clears throat> that the town's expenses have gone up sixty-five thousand, the school fifty-five thousand, and McCann seventy thousand. So those are all of the relative. Those are all the increases that we have budget-wide. Um, the pension costs have gone up rather significantly, I might add, um, and and has our insurances. So it's a tight it's a tight and a tough budget. There's there's no question about it, um, but we will make it through. So then, Article Ten um to take fees and from permits uh issued for various uh inspectors and boards so like for instance the gas inspector wire inspector health inspector title five inspector so they're paid out of this total pool of fifteen thousand dollars that fifteen thousand dollars is created through the um accumulation of those permit fees, which is how we compensate our inspectors. Didn't you have those listed on your, your other? I was uh, one I saw. OK, I'm probably mistaken. We, well, we have. I just saw, I saw a list of. OK. It, it could be in, in the budget. Oh, the budget yes, okay. will probably list those out. Okay. All right. Okay. Article 11 uh, is to establish a special purpose stabilization fund um, to be known as the Opioid Settle Settlement Stabilization Fund. And so that outlines the monies that we received from the, the court settlements. Uh, and litigation against opioid manufacturers and distributors. So we've received approximately $6,700 uh, to date. And per guidance and rule making from the Attorney General's office that it has to be segregated. And there was a conflict because the Department of Revenue said that, you know, without legislation or the establishment of a special stabilization account, it would have to go into the general fund. Um, and then if it were to perchance get lost in, in the paperwork, um, and you know, this is gonna be going on for at least 16 years, that you know, some future uh, officer of the town might uh, not be aware of it. And so by segregating the money into that account, um, that would allow for all of the, and it's, there's still litigation ongoing, all of those opioid fund related funds to go into this special stabilization account. And then in tandem, you'll see, uh, Article 12, which is to move the money that we've already received from, now it would be in the town's general fund, but because free cash is not certified, um, we would move it from the stabilization account, and then we wouldn't have to worry about segregating it from the, take pulling it out of the segregation fund later on. So then that would complete that whole these two, 11 and 12 are, are opioid related, and basically the intent is to comply with, with the um, mandates from the Attorney General's office as well as the Department of Revenue. Okay, Carl, so I have a question. Sure. Um, the Department of Revenue said that that money should go into a general fund. 
It didn't say it should. It says it has to because okay. of but the wasn't land. There a land department that said it was supposed to go somewhere else. The Attorney General. Okay, so the who is now governor? Okay, so at that time, yes. the Attorney General said that the um, opioid money was to go to which fund? To, that it had to be segregated and it could only be spent for harm reduction. Oh, see, I, I understand that, but I'm, and so the Department of Revenue was saying it needs to go into the general fund? Because there's no mechanism without a st special stabilization account, there's no mechanism to segregate right. it like within the budget itself from the general revenue. From yeah, the I, general I understand, fund. but it wasn't, I thought the Attorney General was telling us to put it somewhere else. Well, pending legislation, if you know the legislature ever acts on it, and they have not as of a, a point, that would we would need to move it in order to comply with the attorney general and with the Department of Revenue. That's what the special stabilization account does. It in effect segregates it, and it keeps it out of the general fund. Right. So in the meantime, we put it into stabilization. No, we put it into the general fund. We have no other option right now because we don't have a special stabilization account. Right. But is it in the stabilization account now? That's why we got to pull it out. No, it's in the general. It got deposited into the general fund, but because we don't have free cash, we can't pull it out of. So we're pulling out of stabilization to make up. Okay, I see. Okay. And then gotcha. when we get our free cash certified, we can kind of yeah, we don't push have, it back into the okay. We don't have to do yeah. fool around with it when free cash is. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. It'll be done. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, then we have. Okay, so we're good with twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, thirteen is. Um, for the town's sewer uh, enterprise fund and operations. So, <clears throat> you know, understanding that the DEP wants upgrades to our sewer system and also um, a new contract with the city of North Adams, um, the costs are going to go up. And so we, uh, we have tried uh, very hard, and actually the the items that the town of Clarksburg has direct control over, maintenance and operations, and the intermunicipal services, those haven't gone up. But the North Adams usage fee has gone up, as has the capital expenses. So we're probably going to see about a 15% increase in our, in our sewer. And then in Article 14, which is from the Sewer Enterprise account also, um, we're going to need to do some engineering uh, and hopefully be able to replace a couple of the manholes that are uh, in questionable condition. So I think we have about 18 manholes townwide, um, and we have 40% of our sewer uh, does need to be repaired. So given that, um, you know, this is a very small step, but we would be looking to, to use $57,000 from the Sewer Enterprise Reserve Fund to pay for expenses for the sewer system repairs and upgrades to reduce I&I, &I, which is inflow and infiltration, as required by the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection. So, and, um, it is it is what it is so you know everybody's sewer uh, is going to go up um, and we have done our darndest to keep it as as low of an increase as possible and 15 percent is that increase yeah it's going to be about 15 percent um okay um, also, a, a citizen, you know, came into town hall requesting the creation of a agricultural commission, um, and I honestly don't know enough about it to comment in any great um, detail. I, I guess I have some encouragement, and I also have some concerns. Um, obviously, you know, we're a, a resource poor community and I certainly don't want to see you know a whole lot of more uh, properties come off of the tax roll but at the same time I, I do believe in the mission of agriculture I think it's heartening to see that there's interest in local government 
um, finally, uh, for some participation uh, by members of the community in uh, steering the town forward. So I'm encouraged by that. So I, the basically, it's allowing for the creation of an agricultural commission, and then with three members, and then we would, for the initial term, have a one-year, a two-year, and a three-year term, and then following that, it would be routine. So the one that would expire would then be subject to a reappointment at the when we do our appointments um, at the beginning of every fiscal year. Carl, a couple quick questions. Uh, I know Martha is going to be there. Is she? Or are we going to explain what the Agricultural Commission is looking to do? Because people won't know. Yeah, I, I, there's actually some really good uh, outline of it in Massachusetts general laws, which I can print out. If Martha wants to speak to it, I'm all for it. Okay. Um, short of that, I'll, I will uh, get um, the Massachusetts general law definitions. And. Um, why is why does this requ uh, require a two thirds vote? Um, because that's what the Massachusetts general law say. Um, to start a new commission, you need two thirds. I guess so. I didn't know that. And it's just like under Council on Aging, changing their bylaws requires two thirds also. So. Okay. It's for the Article 14 with the sewer enterprise that requires two thirds votes. It's like, yeah, pe people don't even pay into the sewer agreement or voting on. Yeah, yeah, like yeah it's, I, it's interesting. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> All right, and on Article 17, I'll move that down also. Thank you. Um, and on 16, I, when it says adjacent, five acres made just like a space between five and acres. Um, okay, yep. So then. Article 16 <clears throat> would be to authorize a select board to enter into a lease, for, a lease for up to 20 years from a solar-related enterprise to site a solar array on the site of the former landfill and an adjacent five acres in accordance with Massachusetts general laws. Okay, Carl, i got to interrupt you here. Sure. Didn't, wasn't Bob pretty adamant that Article 16 had to be about the Council on Aging? Was it 16 that, because they're writing it up? Do you remember that? I don't, but if you... I do, because because she was going to put the top of her heading. Right. What, I, I believe it was 16, right? I'm almost positive it was 16. Okay. Well, I'll just confirm that with... Um, Sue? With Sue, just... Sue Brandon. Yeah, just that it matches what she's going to put. We want her to make up her hand out and have the you know, not match the Absolutely. Right not, one, and I don't have a problem with that. I can just move that. Yeah. And, and I have the Article 16, according to my minutes. Okay, okay. excellent. Thank, Thank you. Thank you on that, John. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then I have, we have an invoice that was dated the 30th of June, which is the last day of the fiscal year, and for whatever reason, in June 30th of 22, it didn't get paid relative to the um, the proceeding of hiring uh, a tax collector uh, by, by uh, now former town official. So whether it was oversight or, or what have you, but we can't just go back and pay bills outside of the current fiscal year, so it's getting permission from the town to use $855 to pay that bill. Okay, so this is, and Article 18 will go to Article 16. Okay. Um, Article 19, um, and Marilyn wants it changed. Um, If it will vote to renumber recaption zoning bylaws by a designating the zoning bylaw as Chapter 310 of the Code of the Town of, it, there's a whole lot of stuff that I will just put in here verbiage word for word. Okay. All right. So we'll. So it's it. basically saying the same thing, only a little more detail. You significantly more detail. <laughs> yes. So. Um,
Okay. Um, then Article 20 um, would be the dimensional tables in an R30 district to revise, which I'll have a handout, um, the road frontage and the lot size requirements for property serviced with public water and public sewer. <clears throat> and then similarly, Article 21, um, same thing. Um, and that would be for upland conservation, primarily owned by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, to reduce the road frontage uh, with the uh, anticipation of increased pilot payments. <clears throat> and then also uh, Article 22 to use $231,000 from the town's stabilization account uh, to reduce the tax rate. And just on this page, a um, couple little things just to, for, for forming why so everything matches. Sure. See, so notice like how on Article 18 it says two thirds vote required, and then like you get to 19, okay. it's just two thirds required. Yeah. I just wonder if we kind of keep them all kind of exactly the same, consistent throughout because they're all the ones in the. And this is why we're leading. Yep, yeah, we got it. We will take care of that. And then Article 23 to see if there's any other business to transact in relation thereto or adjourn. And then we'll have the signature pages or the signature component here. And we should be good to go. And that in a nutshell is, is that nothing's changed with the budget. And so we can reconvene on uh, Wednesday morning uh, to put our uh, signatures on the warrant and get it posted and uh, we're on our way. And I'll make these edits and I'll email you each copy. So is there a potential for anything to change on the budget once that meeting with Dan and Donna happens? Or? I, I don't anticipate it, but it's certainly something we could discuss. Um, and we also need to discuss about the nine o'clock Wednesday. That's usually when Bob can't make make it, can't meet. Okay. So I don't know if uh, if it's something that. Uh, Would you want to move it to eleven? Uh, how do you feel about or that? One or what? Do you, what is your pleasure? I can. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I can repost it. We still have time, and right, we can't right. go backwards, but we can go forwards. Mm. I, yeah, true. And we know Bob can't do 9 a.m., so either way, we got to adjust it, whether they do 11 or 1. Now, he, he, he plays golf at 11? No. It, at 1? He can't make it. On in he the can't, he's, yeah, he's on in the morning, so he can't be here at 9. Can he be here at 11? Then I don't know. Yeah, I'm not positive. We have to check, check with him. On do you that. want to go to a 1? Because uh, 1 seems to be the time that he's usually here. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go for a one Wednesday? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. If that's good with you, Dan. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. All right. So what I'll do is I'll re I'll have that reposted. I'm short of that. We're good. <sighs> good. These came out really nice. All right. Is there anything else we need to discuss or we can adjourn this meeting? Yep. Yeah. Dan, you got anything? Adjourn no. and reconvene at 1 on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> what. <laughs> All right. At this time, I'd like to close the meeting of the Clarksburg Select Board on Monday, May, whatever it is, 22nd? No. 22nd, yes. Yeah. 2023 at. 9.25 a.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned.